But moving on, <laughs> because speaking of contracts and speaking of WWE, according to Forbes, Vince McMahon is looking to return to WWE in spite of new allegations of sexual assault surfacing. Mm -hmm. According to the, a report from the Wall Street Journal, Vince McMahon is facing multiple legal demands asserting that he sexually assaulted two women, including Rita Chatterton, a former ref who is the first woman's ref in the history of WWE. It's reported that Vince believes that he received bad advice from people close to him, and he believes he would have been able to withstand the allegations if he just stayed with the company. According to Sean Ross Sapp, WWE execs do not want him back with the companies. But I wanted to know, how would you feel about a potential Vince McMahon return? And do you even believe that that's possible at this point? Uh, no to both. Like, <laughs> no to both. Um, a lot of talents are a lot happier since, he's, since he hasn't been here. Um, I feel like Triple H has done great things for the company since he's left. Um, I feel like uh, Vince McMahon, he has a history of being a vile person. It doesn't shock me that more allegations are coming out. But he's ultimately too old anyways. He, but at least before, he was a crappy person, but he knew good business and he could run a, a good show. And he's so far gone, he can't, he, he physically can't do it. He makes a lot of irrational decisions that ends up pissing off his own people that he, he works with and his writers. There's been many reports over the past couple of years of writers spending many hours in rooms and coming up with pieces. And then it gets to Vince McMahon and it essentially gets tossed down. And they just go with whatever plan he comes up with a few minutes before Raw or while Raw's airing. You know what I mean? Is that someone that we need as a boss? Is this what we want? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because... As far as I know, Tony Khan's significantly younger. I think he's in his 30s or his 40s, one or the other. Don't know how old is the person that runs New Japan. But they're obviously younger, fresher minds that are in tuned with what's going on in the world now in modern day wrestling. Vince is stuck in another era. I don't even think he even like remembers all the stuff he's accomplished. You know what I mean? He's just so disconnected with everything. And I think, again, it comes with being overworked and age and the stress of dealing with this so he just needs to deal with that and just let it go let it go it probably is hard for him because he identifies with it because mm -hmm. literally like you're Vince McMahon that's what we associate you with being the big boss of WWE like it's probably a lot he's probably going through a lot of mental gymnastics with all these allegations and lawsuits here and stuff like that but he just by no means needs to come back to WWE God, no. What do you think? I'm going to echo your statement. I don't believe that he's coming back. I believe that that was one of the reasons why, as soon as he retired, there was such a big move on recreating the power structure in WWE. Like, let's look at the, the positions of power that, that have been, you know, occupied and filled so we have Nick Khan and Stephanie McMahon as the co-CEOs. We have Triple H as a, as a CCO. We have Shawn Michaels as the head of, you know, essentially occupying Triple H's old position. We have Road Dog in there. Now William Regal has been rehired, and he has a, a vice president position that's going to start uh, early in 2023. So when you look at the power structure, and Kevin Dunn is gone, John Laurinaitis is gone, like all these other guys that were under Vince are gone. And so there's been, an, a, a, regardless of how you feel about, about the on-screen product, there has been a dramatic shift in the work culture and work environment of WWE. Stuff like that matters to investors. Stuff like that matters to uh, 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 the board of directors because these are things that improve uh, the ethical substance of the company and make them appear to be morally sound, which is something that drives up brand value, right? So... Those things are in place. I don't think that Vince McMahon is coming back because I think that the allegations that he's that he's dealing with are too much. And I think that the board of directors are going to make a decision if he decides to, oh, I'm going to return. I think the board of directors are going to make a decision and say, no, because you returning is going to hurt the company. It's going to hurt our stock prices. It's going to hurt uh, the work culture. It's going to hurt so many different facets 
of the company, you coming back is going to hurt the company. So we're not going to let you back in. And then that's just going to be that. Now, as far as um, I wanted to, to see the, 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 the second question, I, I don't think it, it is. I don't think that it is possible. I don't think it is possible for all the reasons that I just mentioned. Um, I do believe that we're seeing the stage of Vince McMahon in which he has he has heavily identified with something for so long that the moment that he's away from it, he's going through a crisis and we're seeing it play out in real time. And so I, it's unfortunate, but, and then on top of that vice has a doc either has a documentary coming out or the documentary is already it aired on, huh? It came out. Right. So it, it like you, yeah. dog, <laughs> it's over. There's it's no, <laughs> there's no chance in hell of Vince McMahon coming back. So, that's all that I have to say about a Vince McMahon return. But we want to know what you guys believe. If you believe that Vinnie Mac is coming back, which is you got to be on crack to, to believe that. But if you do believe it, let us know. But moving on. 